Welcome to CNC Learn and Build. I'm Randy Johnson. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Shark RS1000 Pro CNC router table to cut a variety of joints using the built-in apps. The RS1000 Pro comes with over a dozen joinery apps, and you can find links to all of them in the description below this video. It's also worth pointing out that all of the apps use the same basic nine steps. And I'll cover each of them in detail. But I think you'll find once you become familiar with them that operating the RS1000 Pro is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'll show you how to create a series of dados using the data repeating app. This app is useful when you need a series of dados or grooves in the side of a small project or on a long board. The difference between this app and the fluting app is that the repeating dados are laid out starting at the edge of the board, whereas the fluting app centers the cuts on the overall width of the board. The first step is to install the bit. For this setup, I'm using an up spiral quarter inch end mill bit for a series of simple square dados. But you can also use this app with any end cutting bit to achieve other types of grooves and decorative results. With the bit installed, open the settings menu and enter the bit diameter. There are a couple of places in the pendant where you can enter the bit diameter, but I prefer to enter it right away to avoid errors later. Plus, the bit diameter is also needed for the fence calibration, which is coming up soon. Next, open the app menu and select the touch plate calibration and select bit calibration. Connect the magnet to the router bit or the collet, and then click through to the white control button. Use the down button to lower the bit below the table. Click OK and touch the plate to the bit to verify that you have a good connection. Press OK to proceed with the bit calibration. The bit will raise up, touch the bottom of the plate, and then go back down below the table. You can now go to the fence calibration. Once again, click on the white control button to open the control panel and use the buttons to raise the bit above the table as well as bring the fence forward. Use the touch plate to help align the flute square with the fence. This ensures that the high point of the router bit is closest to the fence, which produces the most accurate results when calibrating the fence. Position the plate between the bit and the fence and touch the plate to the bit to verify a good connection. You can now continue with the fence calibration. From here, go back to the main menu, back off the fence, lower the bit, and replace the insert ring. Then open the apps menu and select the data repeating app. Press the button at the top right to open the app. This opens a list of parameters that must be set up. Start at the bottom with the bit height, which is the same as the dado's depth. In this case, I'm setting it to two tenths of an inch. Setting the groove count is next. I'm going to set this at one because I want to run a single test dado first. I'm going to set the space between the dados to one inch since that's what I want for my final project. I'm also setting the start offset to one inch, which is how far in from the edge of the board I want my first dado to start. For the groove width, I measure my board and add 0.01 inches to the width to give me a little clearance. I want a snug fit, something that I can assemble by hand, which is not too tight.
I also double checked the bit diameter. Even though this number carried over from what I entered earlier, I still check it here to make sure it's correct. Next, I'll run the app for my test data and check the fit. Notice how the RS1000 automatically positions the bit and the fence for the first cut. Doing this on a scrap board is probably best, but I'm confident in my settings, so I'm using my final board. Press OK to run the second cut and continue this process until the app is completed for this test data. The fit looks perfect, so I'll go back into the app and increase the number of grooves to three. I can skip past the first groove and continue with the remaining two. With the grooves complete, you can see how they're evenly spaced, identical in width, and have a perfect fit. Even though I had to adjust the fit twice, it was still easier and more precise than manually nudging or bumping the fence over. For links to other RS1000 joinery apps, check out the description below this video.